In this video, we'll look at the trade-offs that exist between inflation and the balance of payments, and also the trade-off that exists between the internal and external value of money. To understand the trade-off between inflation and the balance of payments, let's look at what happens if there is an increase in the general price level. If there is an increase in the price level, it may cause export goods to become relatively more expensive to foreign buyers. It can also cause import goods to become relatively cheaper. The net effect will be a movement towards a trade deficit as imports rise and exports fall. Bear in mind, the overall impact of inflation depends on how much inflation has risen, for how long inflation has risen, how elastic the demand for exports and imports is, and the price level changes in other trading partner countries as well. It is not automatic that an increase in the price level will push a country's trade balance towards a deficit. The internal value of money is the real value of money. The internal value of money falls with inflation. Essentially, the internal value of money is its purchasing power. The external value of money is the exchange rate. The two values may move in the same direction. To understand why, let's look at an explanation. Suppose inflation increases in a country. Well, its exports will become less price competitive. If export demand falls, so will demand for the currency. This will cause the currency to depreciate. From this, we can see that a fall in the internal value of money can lead to a fall in the external value of money. Bear in mind, the external value of money can also fall following a devaluation of the currency in a fixed exchange rate system. By now, you should have a better understanding of these two trade-offs. If you have any questions, leave them below and let's answer them together. That's us done for now, and I will see you in the next one.